Hi, I'm Chris Bolin. I'm an acupuncturist at Del Sol Community and I want to talk today about building up our inner terrain. In the last video series that we did, we talked about germ theory versus terrain theory. These are old theories from scientists back in the early 1900s. And today I want to focus more on the inner terrain theory and how we can um, build up our immune system to help fight off viruses, bacteria, fungus, all the things that we deal with in our environment. So, first of all, the inner terrain is something that we can control. We cannot control our outer terrain. And in the last video, I talked about how unpractical it is to, um, you know, we can't go around living in a bubble and keeping things out. We are going to deal with all kinds of things in our environment that um, can cause us to get sick. But our bodies were designed to both defend themselves and to heal. And so what we want to do is work with this system to um, strengthen it and to help make us as healthy as we can so that we have a wonderful fighting chance against all the things that we deal with in life. First and foremost, and it is the most important, it is foundational, is a healthy diet. You can take all kinds of things and, and try and make up for what you don't do, but this is paramount. We are what we eat and we are what we digest and what our body can, you know, what we give it is what it can do, whatever it needs to do with. This is the fuel that our body needs to both function and to heal itself. And it's, an, it's vital that we make the best choices as far as food goes, to eat whole foods, organic whenever is possible, and to eat foods as close to nature as we can. The more processed it is, the less nutrients and the less our body has to use. Clean water is also vital. Um, you know, the water that we get out of the tap is not the best choice. It's full of chemicals, and there's a lot of things in there that have not been filtered out. So if you can get a good water filtering system, or there are places that offer filtered water, that would be a better choice. And really, really hydrate yourself. In particular, during the hot months of the year, it's really important. A good baseline for water is half your body weight, in ounces every day just as a baseline and more so if you exert yourself. And next I want to talk about specific supplements that work to boost the immune system. And you know these are all things that most of us are familiar with but, but in particular vitamin C, vitamin D, and vitamin A are, are vital for our immune system to be able to do what it needs to do. We all hear about vitamin C, that's something that's very common, helps our body to fight off viruses, uh, bacteria, all kinds of things that we deal with. Um, and vitamin D, which is the most affordable supplement out there, we get that through sunshine, is in particular very vital for fighting off viruses. Science has proven that low vitamin D um, lowers our immune system, along with a lot of other things that it can cause in the body, a lot of issues it can cause. Again, get out there and get you some sunshine. It's free and it is vital for your immune system, as well as vitamin A. And there's zinc, there's garlic. These things are incredible in the body for um, fighting off viruses, fighting off any kind of a foreign invasion in the body really, really strengthens the immune system to do its job and to do it very well. Colloidal silver is another, um, I guess it can go under supplements, but this is silver broken down in its smallest form. It's in a, a water soluble um, tincture, usually you can get it, and you know, it can be pretty affordable, and this can fight off Anything that, that um, we deal with in our environment, colloidal silver, is an excellent alternative to antibiotics. <clears throat> it's an excellent way of fighting off anything in the body. Olive leaf as well. Olive leaf is like a natural 
antibiotic without the uh, terrible side effects fights off the good guys and leaves the, I should say fights off the bad guys, leaves the good guys alone. And then there is movement. It, it's really important for our body that we move, that, that we're not sedentary. A sedentary lifestyle, just hanging out on the sofa, playing video games and watching movies, is super unhealthy for us. Science proves that out. And, you know, something as simple as walking is going to help get the blood flowing, get the energy flowing. And this is how our body nourishes itself, with healthy blood flow, healthy energy flow. And this is super, super vital. Exercise stretching and something as simple as walking. It doesn't have to, you don't have to exert yourself in particular if you have any kind of issues. Try walking. Walking is an amazing uh, way to get movement, to get the blood flowing. Even just 20, 20 minutes a day. Stress relief. This one I cannot emphasize enough because stress, um, you know, living in fear, constantly worried, um, causes us to tense up and it lowers our immune system. This one is really huge. There are ways that we can deal with it. There's certain circumstances in our life that we simply cannot make go away. And so we have to learn how we can best work with that. And so some simple things that can be super effective are deep breathing. It is amazing how you can feel from one minute to the next, just by stopping and taking a few really deep, good breaths. Increases your oxygen flow, increases your blood flow, it um, elevates your mood and lowers your cortisol levels in the body. Excellent, excellent, simple, completely inexpensive way, free way that we can deal with stress. Fresh air, sunshine, and also our thoughts. We can control what we're thinking and how we respond to whatever stressor we have in the environment. Um, we're all going to have stressors again, but how we respond to them in our thought patterns it is going to trigger in us either a stress response or it's going to trigger in us, you know, okay, I got this, I can do this, I can handle this. Um, you know, whatever it is, and we're going to feel better. We're going to respond better. And so watch your thoughts, watch your thought patterns, watch your response to the stressors in your environment, how you think about them. It's very important. And with the healthy things that we can add and that we can choose, there are certain things that we can avoid that are helpful. It's super important to avoid nutrient deficient foods. And that is a lot of foods that are on the grocery shelves. If it's highly processed, full of chemicals, you know, they take the good out, they put the bad in, not a healthy choice. There's things that we ingest that our body simply doesn't know what to do with. It can't identify it, um, tries to store it in certain places, can't digest it very well. And that's going to, um, you know, it's going to cause you to be, it's going to work out in sickness in some way or another in the body and definitely lowers the immune system. Sugar. Sugar is literally more addictive than heroin. All of us, well most of us, struggle with sugar addiction to some degree or another. And the more you eat, the more you want, and sugar is poisonous in our system. If you're going to eat something sweet, let it be more in a natural state, fresh fruits. You want to eat something that's whole and try to avoid processed sugars. There are alternative sweeteners out there that um, do not lower our immune system. Things like xylitol, stevia, if you like that, I'm not a fan of myself, but it's an alternative or monk fruit. Monk fruit is actually a wonderful alternative that's both good for you and um, will not compromise your immune system and have all the negative effects in the body that traditional white sugars do. And again, if you're going to eat something sweet, because on occasion all of us do, try and get minimally processed. There are sugars out there that are just like dehydrated cane sugar. That would be a better choice than um, white sugar by all means if that's something that you're going to do. Again, 
minimize it. Do your best to cut it out. Best if you cut it out completely. I know how hard that is. Seriously important right there. And again, stress. We talked about stress before. Something that we can't avoid, but we can learn how to deal with it in positive ways that help us to feel bet our best and to feel better, to feel healthier. Also, sleep. Sleep is huge. That is where our body restores and regenerates and quality sleep is very important. If you're not getting that, um, I would try and find help in whatever way that you can. There are people that we can recommend you to and we can help in this area. Quality sleep is vital. This is where our body restores itself and without that, your health and in particular your immune system will be compromised. Toxins. We really are bombarded in our um, environment, and everywhere that we go, with toxins. In our own personal environments, this is where we can make the choices to avoid as much toxins as we can. I think that this is hugely important because, you know, in a lot of areas, just going outside and breathing, you're breathing automobile fumes and there's, again, there's all kinds of toxins in the air. When you can make a choice, do your best to choose non-toxic household cleaners, um, choose beeswax candles over your traditional paraffin candles, choose natural perfumes over the synthetic ones. There are a lot of different choices that you can do to add to a healthy environment and to avoid toxins in your own environment. This is, this is hugely important in the kitchen, in the laundry room, and, and all throughout our home, we can make choices and there are alternatives out there that are non-toxic that not only are not bad for us, but can increase our health. Essential oils are an incredible alternative to the synthetic perfumes and um, you know we can use them in our candles that increase our health and can increase our immune system function as well. And, and they smell wonderful. Excellent choice. And also EMFs. If you're not familiar, these are electric magnetic fields. These are all around us. If you have electricity in your home, you have them. And, you know, we have power boxes outside. This is something that is just now coming to the forefront of both science and the media as far as exposure as to how this affects our health. This is this is really, really important because we are negatively affected by this. The normal human electromagnetic field runs at about 7 hertz, whereas your refrigerator runs at about 60 hertz. Just walking by the fridge can wear out our electro field. And this, again, is something that's all around us. And there's a lot of things, scary things, that they're introducing to our environment now that we need to become aware of that will affect us in this way. It is important. There are things you can do. This is something that we can talk to you about here at Del Sol, um, as well as all these other things. Two things that are really helpful in building our inner terrain is acupuncture and body work. They help to improve sleep and digestion. They really excel at building immunity and overall health. This is my passion. I have seen incredible results both personally and working with clients. This is why I do what I do. And here at Del Sol, we offer acupuncture, body work. We offer guidance with any and all of these things. If you're interested in setting an appointment with us, give us a call. I would love to work with you. Thank you for watching this video. If it was helpful, share it with somebody. And I look forward to seeing you.